He is attempting to reclaim the glory of ancient Egyptian wine using organic homegrown grape, producing an award-winning bouquet. Coming from the small village of El Guna, the wine has managed to rake in 14 international medals, including bronze at the Decanter World Wine Awards in 2012. Under the dry soils and hot sun of Egypt's Red Sea, a small winery is fighting to produce an all-Egyptian award-winning wine. The adverse conditions of Egypt's climate prove disadvantageous for any wine, yet Kurum of the Nile seeks ancient Egyptian inspiration for present-day success. Ancient Egyptian tombs were found to contain drawings of winemaking and the civilization was known to be avid wine drinkers. When tourists drink wine, they have to drink wine that reflects Egypt, its farms, its sun and its weather. Everything related to Egypt must be reflected in the glass of wine you are drinking. And this is what we are doing. We believe that we've succeeded because we have achieved this. Egypt's taste now exists in a glass of wine. This, for me, is an achievement. After Islamic conquest throughout the Arab world, winemaking was halted until the 20th century when European migration to Egypt started rebuilding the industry. In 2003, however, the winery was established eventually, reaching a capacity of almost 4 million bottles a year of organic Egyptian wine, red and rose wine. Marketing representative for the winery, Rainia Mubarak, said that she was first shocked with the challenges when delving into the world of Egyptian wine, such as the hot sun and even the lack of wine drinking culture. Really shocked because it's not a country to produce wine. Let's say the new Egypt, it's not a country to produce wine. We are producing in the extreme conditions of the wine plantation. Though the Egyptian 2,500 years before Jesus, 5,000 years from now, they were wine producers. And it's not me who's saying this. If you go and visit all the town, you will see this. So these people, they produce wine. We're just doing here, it's the revival of the Egyptian vineyard. I'm rebuilding, I'm replanting uh, the vineyard in extreme condition, let's say, in not a welcoming environment. And the people, they are not a wine drinkers in the country. So we are introducing a culture for, uh, for the Egyptians. Realizing these limitations, the winery still pushes to produce an acceptable all-Egyptian wine from the local Banati grape, a first in the world of winemaking in Egypt. Koruam of the Nile faces competition from dust giant Heineken, but the Egyptian establishment is the only one to rely solely on homegrown grapes. A Nigerian entrepreneur is using readily available ways to produce affordable and environmental friendly briquettes in a country where most of the population still relies on charcoal for heat. According to the World Health Organization, 98,000 Nigerian women die annually from complications linked to smoke inhaled while cooking with firewood. Ikina Uber's grandmother was one of them. The 27-year-old chemical engineer recalls spending so much time hunting for firewood as a child that he would often miss school. This, according to him, is part of his motivation. Ikenna Uba has just prepared a fresh batch of briquettes at his factory in Enugu, southeastern Nigeria. It's dirty work, but Uba feels he needs to do it. One motivation for starting his business is the estimated 43 million tons of waste the World Bank reports that Nigeria produces every year. I started um, collecting waste to convert to renewable biomass energy because of the amount of waste that uh, flew everywhere in my street. And people use inefficient firewood and charcoal for cooking. We destroy their health. Uber has created a system where people can deliver their organic or preferably carbonized waste directly to his factory in exchange for briquettes. Uber's briquettes cost about 1,000 naira per sack. Conventional charcoal goes for about the same price in Enugu. After a year in production, Uber's briquettes are proving a popular alternative to charcoal, firewood and kerosene with local users like restaurant owner Chika Uguesi. The charcoal used to catch fire very fast. It lasts longer than other charcoal. It helps me to cook very fast. 
and then it makes my environment to be very neat because it doesn't have smoke. Uba says he produces two tons of charcoal every month. He hopes to bring in a larger modeling machine and a dryer so he doesn't have to depend on the sun. We are not only saving the environment, we are also providing healthy alternatives to people who work in, 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 in spaces where they have to burn stuff because there's, it doesn't emit uh, carbon monoxide, it's environmental friendly and even when it's done burning, you use the remains as an org organic fertilizer. Nigeria is believed to have one of the highest rates of deforestation in the world. Urbanization and rapid population growth will only add to the problem. Nigeria's population is projected to swell from 198 to 411 million by 2050, and more and more people are moving into the cities. Still to come on the program. Senegal demands the return of all its art currently in French museums. Please stay with us.